Hello, I know it's Saturday and I'm here and I come special on my day off. Yeah, I come special to make a video and I did. I made a video, yeah, it's like one hour video speaking about the motherboard, about MOSFET, about the other signals uh, for the our starter chip in order to to start the motherboard and you know what happened my video graphic uh, the video driver crashed and everything is gone so look here yeah 4.7 gig and if I try to open this one it's, it's just gone because the the graphic driver crashed and this is mp4 it's no way I can I how can I recover this thing I'm sorry well you know I'm so disappointed because I, you know I just want to go home but I'll still do a small video yeah I want to speak about one signal <clears throat> one uh, you have the this this actually is reading some things from the motherboard in order to start the board yeah and one of these signals is the lead signal yeah and that's an important signal you know you know when you close the lead yeah and the computer goes to sleep it's a sensor there yeah it's a hull sensor you know what is this hull sensor looks like a transistor yeah but it's a magnetic sensor and actually you have a magnet on the lid when you close the lid the magnet come close to the hull sensor and the computer goes off this laptop is special it's an old one yeah I will explain you on this one even with the lid closed you can still start the computer but on most of the laptops you can't so actually we press the power button everything is fine and the laptop is not coming on because you have a fault with that sensor yeah let's see let's go under the microscope and see on this board how this signal looks most of the times this sensor you can find him on the next to the power button but not on this case yeah on this case is next to the charging port yeah that's the hull sensor yeah it's not a transistor let me get the multimeter and let's check together yeah now the laptop is off this is ground yeah because it has one pin to ground one pin should be to plus and one is the output and he is moving the imp the the output plus to minus depends of the if you have a magnet close or not I will power up the, the laptop yeah okay now the laptop is on let's check the signal there yeah so what do we have here is still ground yeah here is plus 3.3 .3 volts yeah and here is the output still 3.3 .3, yeah because it's no magnet close to this sensor but listen this laptop is old but usually on this sensor is voltage all the time yeah so you have all the time 3.3 .3, and actually if the lead is closed you cannot power up the the, the laptop or if something happen and the laptop wants to come on no it will not come because of this sensor yeah i'll grab a magnet yeah and yeah that's a magnet i will keep this on the output yeah and when i close the the magnet look on the voltage yeah now it's 3.3 .3. now it's nothing it's zero yeah 3.3 0 and the input is the same the input I still have 3.3 yeah but the output is 0 you see 3.3 what do you think will happen on the screen hmm? 
screen, you can see operating system not found. When I close the magnet, the computer goes off. You can see, take out the magnet, comes on. Magnet back, computer goes off. That's a hull sensor, yeah? It's a magnetic sensor. How you can test, you can show the the hull sensor and the computer will goes off. Okay, you see it's off. Yeah, the fan is still spinning, the LEDs are still on, does the screen is off. Yeah, so that that's the lead sensor. And the track from this pin is going straight to this chip. Yeah. But usually, yeah, on this on this one, yeah. Let's use the magnet. Let's power off the computer, the laptop. Let's keep the magnet there and let's try to power up the laptop. And it is coming on. But usually like on 90% of the laptops is not coming on, yeah? Okay, so you understand how this thing works? And you have a magnet here. Yeah, hey, look. You can see where is the magnet, there. Okay. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll do that video, that long video about the motherboards on... Uh, on different day, but now I'm too disappointed about that video. It was a good video. It was a good one. But anyway, see you next week, yeah? Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you later. Bye. And leave a comment if you know how I can recover an MP4 file, yeah? A corrupt MP4 file. Thank you. Bye.